By the end of this video you are going to get a better understanding of how to use Elite Wave to your advantage and improve your trading strategy. I'm an Elite Wave user and trader for 5 years so I'm going to give you 5 tips and tricks about Elite Wave. So grab a pen and a paper and let's get started. As always if you want to get more of us you can go on the moonshards.fr website you are going to get all the resources you need to learn Elite Wave the right way and exalt charts by the way we're going to cover a bit of this today. Anyway let's jump into this. So first of all you have to identify the wave count. This is very very important to identify good wave count. The L wave are made up of three different types of waves. Impulsive wave, corrective waves and diagonal waves. Okay so leadings and endings. So to effectively use L wave you will you need to be able to identify these wave pans and correctly count them. So to speak you have to know the small wave of each for example an ABC zigzag. You, 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 you will have to know what are the small wave of the A wave, what are the small wave of the B wave, what are the small wave of the C, of the C wave. For example the A wave can be a leading or, a, or an impulsive the B wave can be every kind of correction, ABC flat, ABC zigzag, double uh, XY, double XY, XNZ, ABC triangle, it can be all of this clearly, okay, all the different correction you have. Um, and so for example, the C wave can be an impulsive or an ending, okay. You have to know all of this and in addition to this you have to know also the extension tool with the extension we can get so 618 120 extension 123 1618 if we go and go past uh, the 20 person for example this is an extension okay but in that case you have to make sure that this is the right count because otherwise that's an invalidation normally uh, but you also have to know for example where is the most common extension where is the most common retracement for example for a b wave you have the 30 one two fifty person a bit more these days and the uh, 618 is a six person maximum 30 is a 85.4 and 90 person if we do some close inside this is an invalidation of the the pan for example you have to know all of this really once you know all of this you have to go on the chart and practice practice and practice and practice again okay just to show you an example on Bitcoin okay I'm just going to show you an example on Bitcoin so here for example you're going to learn the leading okay you're going to learn the leading for example you're going to look for a wedge to the upside so wave one two three four and five okay you're going to to to, to learn this that is going to be, to be a theory you're going to learn most of the time is going to be like this but it can get some different shapes on the on, on the chart for example here that is also a leading but with a much different shape one two three four and five okay that is also a leading but as you can see don't looks the same but like really not at all like this okay it really don't look like this and so you have to to get experience so to practice 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 on the chart to make your experience to see a different shape what is a rare case where are all of these clicks that's why yeah this is very 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 important to practice it's like for example if you want to get a drop you're going to study first before okay you're going to go in and make some study you're going to learn all the theory clearly maybe practice a bit in your studies i don't know but once you're going to, to be done with your study you're going to go and find a job once you got the job okay congrats first of all <laughs> but yeah you're going to make some experience in this job and this experience is going to make you stronger and better at your job okay it's exactly the same with the old wave you have to learn the theory once you know all of this you're going to go and practice and even maybe at the same time so you can really see and, and understand how it works you're going to practice 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 and this experience you're going to make is going to make you better and stronger at using ill waves okay that is very very important by the way to practice and learn at the same time because learn and practice is a very good way in my opinion to learn uh, so you can really see how it works how to use it what how to play extension to all this so you can really understand better how it works so really practice at the same time is very very important in my opinion but yeah to make really um ill wave working good you have to practice and practice and practice a lot okay this is a very 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 important so yeah, just identify the wave count by using all the theory and then go on the chart and practice 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 okay that is very very important again you have all the course on the website you need so again check this out you have of course some very 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 strong base and even more for free on the website so we're going to check this out anyway let's move on the second one so to use multiple time frames that is very 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 important to be aware of the context you're trading in okay you are always have to be aware of the context you're trading in so you start from bigger time frame and you go then to lower time frame why simply because you have a bigger time frame pan right and this bigger time frame pan have some smaller wave and so for example uh, you, the smaller wave you to, to to trade a smaller wave you have to be aware of the bigger pan okay it's like for example if you go on ethereum just to give you a good example if you go on ethereum here bam you go on the one hour okay so i'm just gonna go here right here gonna replace that so you can remove this perfect i'm just gonna pull this here perfect so here what you can see what you can see here is a five ways to the upside you have a wedge here you can see one two three or five so as i said earlier it can be like the theory as it can be a bit different depends there are some rockies but here wave one two three 
4 and 5. If you don't pay attention to the context, for example, let's say that it was on the 15 minutes to read at his five ways here to the upside. Okay, so it was okay. If we have a five ways here to the upside, what are the possible patterns we can expect next? First, we can look for a bigger wave one, a bigger wave two, a bigger wave three, four, five. Okay, so let's take a bit of a bigger stuff there. So white right here and add some few waves there. So you was looking in that case for a wave one two, three or five, because if you have five ways, first of all, so that will be a leading in that case, you're looking for an impulsive next to the upside, or as always, an A, B, C, zigzag. Five ways correction, five ways are the most easiest correction you have with yellow waves, okay? So this is what you're going to expect next if you don't pay attention to the context and do not start from bigger time frame and then go on the lower time frame. If you were just looking at the lower time frame here, you will make a mistake because you did not pay attention to what was the data and what was the context before and why we could also get these five ways, okay? The thing is here, so if you're looking for this, you will take the trade here, okay? Right here, you will take the trade with the stop loss otherwise. We're going to talk about this next, but below the low. If now you click play, what's happened there? You just got a continuation. But hey, we got five ways here. What a figure this. It's simply because you did not pay attention to the context. Why we got these five ways? It's simply because we got an ABC flat before. A, B, oh my God, play this. <laughs> really bad abc here flat okay so that's a correction not the abc exam and abc flat so correct uh, not, uh, not an abc exam an abc flat so correction correction five ways here the b wave breaks away every rule this is a this is an abc flat okay an extended or running flight depending on the territory we're going to do next as well it can be a regular flat if we retrace before the a wave rule. okay so if you pay attention to the context of what happened before here and you zoom out a bit to see what can be the wave before here, you was aware of that. It we was about to drop because here what you have, you have a wave one, two, three, four, and a wave five. Okay, here you have a five ways. So bam bam bam. If you have a five ways before, it's like this, for example, here you was you know looking for a five ways, so A, B, C, zigzag, or one, two, three, four, five, impulsive, two different configurations. So here in that case, if you paid attention to the context, you know that if here you have five ways, okay, you're going to look so for a wave one, two, three, four, five, or for an A, B, C, zigzag. I'm just gonna change again these waves here. Bam, bam, perfect. Or for an A, B, C, zigzag, so A, B, C zigzag, oh my god, A, B, C zigzag here, so A, B, and C, okay? So yeah, the context is very, very, very important. And the thing is, you could avoid this loss just by zoom out a bit and check out the context. Here we have a five ways, so you cannot finish this like this with five ways only. This is not a correction. You cannot make a correction with five ways. It's not possible. So you have to make a five ways correction, five ways, or a correction, correction, five ways to be valid for a correction. But here we have a five ways down, so you cannot push up directly. You have to make another move to the downside. Okay? You have a correction, correction. For example, here you don't have if you want if you was looking for this possible triple wave. You have a five ways correction correction. Is it a good is it an ill wave pan? No, there is no correction where you have a five ways correction correction. It's correction correction five ways or five ways correction five ways, but no uh, five ways correction correction. This is do not exist. This is not valid. So you knew that if you zoom out a bit and you check out a context here, you knew that this was more likely going to drop. And moreover, if you if you zoom out again a bit more, you could recognize with a bigger, bigger, bigger time frame wave that this was more likely the all-time high. This is how I've been able, by, by the way, to short the all-time high of Ethereum and Bitcoin. But yeah, so really zoom out and first start from bigger time frame and then go to lower time frames. I really hope that the ABC flat example here makes sense and help you to understand a bit why you have to do this, okay? So yeah, always be aware of the context you are trading in. Do not forget the context. Why we got these five ways. Okay, as you'll see, it can be for the next days, but what happened before and what could do something else. Okay, why we got these five ways. What, what, what data we got before. What is the context here that could result and that could lead leads to some five ways here. You have to really understand that. Okay, and it's like this all the time. You have to be aware of the context you are trading in. Um, yeah, so anyway. Once you have done this, we're going to move now, by the way, on the third part, that is set realistic target. Okay, that is very important to not be too bullish or too bearish, just be neutral and trade what the chart is giving to you. That is extremely important. For example, if you go back on the chart here, for example, right here, I'm just going to delete everything here. Let's take the case that you was looking, for example, for, I don't know, maybe, uh, oh, let's take this, by the way. You was looking here, so let's just remove that. Bam. Oh, no, I oh, no. Anyway, so let's just come back here. Bam, bam, bam. It was here. All right. So let's take the case that you did not pay attention to the context here before. You was looking here, you know, for a wave, for a wave. Bam. One, two, and here we go. Pump it up. Three, four, five. First, why would you look such big wave impulsive to the upside? You have to understand the probability of the extension. Okay. You have to understand that, for example, from 
bam, you place your extension tool again, you have everything for free on your website. Bam, like this. What is the most probable target? The most probable target of the way three, by the way, is the 1618. Okay, if you're in a bull market, yes, you're going to do some extension. But the thing is, are you in the bull market with a bigger wave or expecting to retrace from here? The context was we expect to retrace from here. So, what would you look for some such bullish wave if you're right here? Okay, this is. This just doesn't make sense. So that's why the context, once again, is very, very, very important. Okay, but for example, here is the most probable targets of an impulsive versus a 161 on the way three. Then you retrace 38.2 on the way four once you have another regular wave two, and then you you can look for the 120 extension on the way five. Okay, again, you have all the information to play the fib to use the, the different target and everything on the website for free. So go and check this out. But yeah, so this, for example, is your most common impulsive. You know, the thing is, if you all, wh why would you look for this? Why would you look for this? Okay, and what I'm saying here next, being too bullish or too bearish leads to losses or less profit. Why? Simply because here, if you were looking for such a bullish move, you will take. So you you took that long. Okay, first of all, we have to check the context because that was wrong. Okay, so you took that long, and you was waiting, for example, for I don't know, maybe just if you was looking for the 523.60 to take profit. So you would we will do this. Okay, so you was waiting, and you you your plan was this, right? To make this kind of waves. Okay, you was waiting for this to be hit the maximum tear of the way three to take profit. But the thing is, the most probable impossible wave is this. So you're going to do this. You took that alone. Okay, you got a perfect entry here. You did not took profit yet, and we do this because, for example, next we got a one, two, three, or five for an A, B, C zigzag, for example, and then a drop. Okay, you really have to make sure about the context, as I said earlier, and you you have to set really some realistic target because here, for example, you will not take. You will get a very 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 good long trade, but you will not take profit, and you will take a loss at the end. But it was in very good profit before. Why? Because you was too bullish or too bearish. You had the opposite. For example, if you were looking for an impulsive down, really set some realistic targets. This is extremely, extremely, extremely important. Okay. Do not wait for for really crazy higher prices to take profit. Just maybe safe take profit before. Um, but anyway, so this can this can lead to losses. And as I'm saying here, less profit. Why? Because for example, if you for example took that trade here, okay, you was not doing this move down yet. You was waiting for high here. You was waiting for this to take profit. But you said, hey. Okay, I'm going to take Bristol one time before in case we drop. First, congrats because it's very good uh, to do this. But the thing is, you're going to take to just take profit a safe take profit. So to refund your fees, okay, and to take maybe the, the the capital you 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 added here for this trade, okay, to just refund that so you do not lose anything. So you're going to not make that profit here, just a safe take profit, and you're going to wait for her for bigger take profits. Okay, so you will be in very, very good profit. It was we just here refund your fees. I mean, take a safe take profit here, and then you will drop. So less profit simply because you was looking for higher and you not took profit. So really, set realistic targets. Of course, you have to be aware of the context. Why is the context here? For example, if you're start a bull market, yes, of course we're going to do uh, something like this. Okay, the absolutely we're going to bring every single extension to here. We're just going to do a crazy push up. But do we have some big bull market like this uh, very often? No. So why would you be all the time super bullish or all the time super bearish? Be neutral. Just trade what the chart is giving to you. That is extremely important and set realistic targets. Okay. If you don't set them the realistic targets, you're going to wait too much to take profit, and so you're going to to get some losses or less profit. Okay. That is extremely, extremely, extremely important. Okay. And so once again, if you did not pay attention to the context here, you got this move to the downside, and so you got a very big loss and even maybe a liquidation. If you don't set a stop loss, use a stop loss or risk manager. That is a part four, by the way. So yeah, it's not because a little wave predicts the next move that you have to forget about the risk management. This is extremely important. It's not because you know the next move that you have to. Okay, I know the next move. I don't care. I can I can risk maybe a fifty percent of my wall account. No, even if L wave plays the next move, and by the way, L wave works only if you use it good. Okay, that's, some, that's something extremely important. If it's not working because you're doing something wrong with L waves, okay, that's the only reason why it's not working. Why it's working absolutely perfectly. Well, I've been able to break the all time of, of Ethereum, of Bitcoin, of many, many, many arts. We we'll have been able to plan some move months in advance. We we'll have been able to plan some bottom months in advance. This is absolutely crazy. So really, L wave is working. I can tell you, you just have to go and watch, for example, the public updates and everything. You can see how good it is. Really, it's absolutely insane. And um, and yeah, anyway. So yeah. So just to give you an example here, for example, you have so a wave. Oh, let's take that one by the way. Let's take this example here. Okay, let's just take this example again. Perfect. So here you will get. So let, let's forget about the context here. Let's say that these were some some five ways. Okay, to, to push hard. Okay, or maybe not. We're going to see next. But these were some five ways. So here we have a wave. Bam. One, two, three, four, and the wave five here. Normally a bit higher next. 
Oh no, okay. This was some five ways like this, okay, to make so a bigger wave. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, to make this impulse appear to the upside right here. So yeah, you was looking here for an entry on this retracement. Okay, you're again so to look for your entry here. You're again to find your stop loss. As always, you always when you're trading use a stop loss. This is extremely, extremely, extremely important. So you always play a stop loss. And by the way, it always is very, very, very nice because you're going to place your stop loss on the wave on the panel invalidation. For example, here, what is a pine invalidation is if the wave two breaks the wave one root. So where is going to place your stop loss? Bam just below here in case the wave two breaks away one root okay the, this is not valid anymore we have the invalidation you always have to get an invalidation of your trade and your invalidation is your stop loss okay or where you're going to close your trade if you don't want to use a stop loss but please use a stop loss this is much better <laughs> it's made for this okay so anyway so yeah you will take the trades for example here and the thing is, you, there are some people that are going to jump maybe here because they're thinking that we're going to do this, like a crazy push-up because, for example, they did not pay attention to the context of all of this. They're going to jump maybe with, I don't know, maybe 10% or maybe maybe 50% of their world account, okay, with with no stop loss and with a crazy leverage, okay. And so, for example, if the market do this, you will take a liquidation because here if you jump with 50% of your world account with a crazy big leverage, you will get a very, very, very close liquidation. So here, or maybe below here, but you will get a liquidation, okay, you will get a liquidation for sure. So use a stop loss and really use a risk management. So to speak, you're going to risk maximum per trade, 2%, maximum of the maximum. So for example, uh, yeah, 2%, or it can be also 1%, 1.5, 0.5%, 0 0.1%, 0 0.2%, everything between 0 0.1 and 2%. You are going to just find what is 2% of, I don't know, 10,000, for example. Okay, you're just going to find what is 2% of my capital. So what this is, uh, the result is going to be what you can risk maximum per trade. On the exchange, you're going to get some calculators, you can just find also on, on Google, for example. You can find some calculators, you're going to add, for example, here, your entry price, okay, your close price, so to speak, your, your stop loss. And from here, you're going to play with the quantity to see what is going to result, what is going to be the loss you can take here, okay. So, for example, let's take the case that if we jump here, we'll have a stop loss play here, okay, I'm going to jump, is going to be, I don't know, one, one big coin, for example, I can lose uh, this amount, okay, I'm going to reduce that a lot because it's way too much compared to the two percent I can lose maximum. So, I'm going to reduce, 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 and see what, again, you have some formulas to, for this, but I personally prefer to do it like this to play like, like this to just find the the the, the quantity you have to use in your trade okay but really risk maximum two percent not because it wave predicts the next move that you have to really forget about the risk management the risk management is the way you can become profitable in trading okay it's part of the way you can where how you can become profitable and how yeah how you can become profitable and how you're profitable in trading okay to get a risk management is extremely important. It's not because it'll wave predict the next move. If you use it by, it's not going to predict the next move. First of all, it's something important you have to understand. So if you use it by, it's not going to predict the next move. So if you use that bad and you moreover you don't have risk management, you're going to take some massive crazy loss. You're going to just blow up your account. So really risk maximum 2% of your world account. This is extremely, extremely, extremely important. I mean, a maximum loss of 2% okay, of your world account. Um, it can be 1%, 0 0.5, like I said earlier. But yeah, so always, always, always get a risk management and always risk, risk maximum 2%, okay? Uh, even if you're really sure about the next move, what is going to happen, you still risk maximum 2%. You maybe compound later, for example, if you're really sure next in that case, you accept to take more than a 2% loss, you're going to accept that before to take the trade. But you're going to compound later, okay? But on the entry, for example, you're going to risk maximum 2%. This is extremely, extremely, extremely important to do this, okay? Uh, yeah, this is just to avoid liquidations, uh, big losses, really. So yeah, this is the, the way this is part of how to become profitable. Again, you have a risk management course on the website on the beginner section. The first uh, part is free, by the way. You can just go and check this out. Really, you have all the information also about the risk management. But anyway, yeah, really be aware of this. Use a stop loss and use a risk management. Get a risk management. is extremely, extremely important. Anyway, so for, uh, th um, th fifth part, by the way, <laughs> sorry. And last one, use ill wave with something else. This is extremely important for me to not use ill wave alone. Okay, a lot of people are using ill wave alone. But for example, if you're a day trader, you're not going to be able to, to use only ill wave. I mean, you, you cannot really use ill wave alone like this. Okay, because you're going to get too much different possibilities, you're going to bet on one, for example, possibility, and you're going to get erect on this because we did some less probable probable stuff, for example, there is some period on the market where we are going to do, for example, some rare case. Sorry. So if we do, for example, for a month, only rare case. Normally, you do not bet on this rare case. You bet on the most probable stuff. And the thing is, if you do only less probable stuff for a month, you're going to take only 
losses for a month because you're going to bet on the other stuff that are normally most, more probable than the, than the rare case. And so if you do only rare case in a month, you're going to take some really, really big loss. So that's why L wave is good, uh, but it's also it's a lot better to use it uh, not alone with something else, okay? Um, yeah, and if you're a day trader, you have too much different possibilities most of the time, so you cannot really you have to get some more data sometime to time to confirm your waves. If you're a day trader, you have really to use something else in addition to Elite Wave. If you're a swing trader, it's fine to be honest with you to use Elite Wave alone because you don't need to capture very, very low, the very, very top or to do something like this. You can just play with some swing ideas with a stop loss in, with a wave invalidation, with a wave start, everything, it's fine. But if you're a day trader or even a weekly trader, for example, it's much better to use something else in addition to Elite Wave. And even by the way, if you're a swing trader, you can find some other, other stuff. Personally, I'm a, I'm a day trader and a swing trader. And in any case, I'm, pr I'm, I'm taking some scalps and I'm going to turn these scalps into some swing trades such as for example uh, the very 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 low of Bitcoin I mean, at 15,000 I catch it the week of the week that was a scalp and it, I just turned it down into a swing trade okay but the thing you're going to do here I mean the thing I am going to do personally with wave that is working perfectly you have to plan upside down and sideways you have to plan a scenario where you're going to push up a scenario where you're going to push down and a scenario where you're just going to continue sideways okay so for example a sideways scenario will be okay we're just going to continue that wave to here we're just going to do a longer for example a small double x y like this you're going to make maybe a bigger i don't know maybe abcd triangle i mean it's very rare to get a, a triangle in f2 it's not impossible by the way but anyway so you're going to make maybe for example a, a bigger w x and y for a bit more longer this will be the sideways scenario for example okay and the bullish scenario will be this and the bearish scenario, for example, will be you know, so the ABC flat before ABC, and so in our case, here is a wave one, two, three, or five. That will be the bearish scenario. You always have to plan up, down, sideways. Once you have done this, you don't have to class these scenarios by probability. Again, this you're going to learn it by time, you're going to learn it with the good resources. Uh, yeah, anyway, so um, sorry, I have something in my eye. <laughs> Oh my god anyway um so yeah this is very very important to plan up down and sideways this is what i'm doing and then i just have to class these scenarios by priority sometimes you're not going to get priorities on this you have to have to trade with the three different possibilities that's why you have to use something else in addition to that because the priorities you have to create some more data to be able to recognize where are the most probable scenarios okay with the way we're going to create sometimes it's really 50 50 okay it's very important you cannot always 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 know what's next there are some period where you're going to struggle a bit if you can say that and you will have to get to wait for some more data to come and so you cannot for example as a daily trader wait for maybe a month before to confirm some waves or even two days or three days you have to still trade for example because you have some bills to pay or something um, but anyway so you really plan everything up down and sideways and you just have to class the scenarios by priorities once you have done it you have to plan your elite wave targets and add the confluence to it so for example here let's take the case that we're in a wave one or let's say that let's let's say the case that we're in an abcc exam so a b c i'm just gonna add yeah by the way so white way like this is pretty cool Gonna add this, so we are in an ABCZ exam, okay? So five ways, leading or impulsive, correction, whatever you want, double X, Y, triangle, everything, clearly here, ABCZ exam also, and then a five ways, impulsive or ending, okay? The thing you're going to do here is to pull your extension tool to find your targets, okay? So 618, 120 extension, oh, by the way, no, it's not the right one here, 618, 120 extension, 123, 163, maximum target, for example, uh, 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 an ABC exam can do some extension, it's absolutely fine to do some extension for an ABC exam, but anyway. So let's take the case that if you're using only a wave, you're going to look for all of these targets. Okay, you're going to look for this, you're going to look for this, you're going to look for this for a short, you're going to look for this. But which one to choose, you don't know. You absolutely don't know. And you're going to look for a short on every single target. The only way to know where you're going to look for a short is to check out a small wave because you have to get a five wave impulse if you're ending. So you're going to, get to wait for this wave five to be done to look for a short even if you're using something else what i'm using i'm checking out this but in addition to this i'm going to confirm my entry with the data behind the market okay and of course here you have to add your confidence by the chart so to add the confidence you have to go for example on a daily monthly and weekly time frame to add your daily weekly month level again you have this on the website and you of course have to use something i mean you have it's not you have but it's better in my opinion to use exit charts okay that is an order flow a footprint chart uh, whatever name you want to 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 how do i don't know how do you want to name it but anyway so that is an order flow for example uh, but before to go with the order flow so we can check the direction everything we're going to cover this section here that is the level the time level the volume level all of this you have some different level for example here these are the daily negative path control you also have the weekly negative path control the month negative path control you have the tpos here the time path control you have also the naked session path control so for a certain period of time you're going to print some dates some some levels so for example a volume prof um 
a naked uh, session path control, a naked volume session path control, a naked time path control, for example, you're going to print all of this right here that you're going to add on your chart. Okay, for example, let's take the case that I don't know, on the on the 120 extension, for example, oops, on the 120 extension here, so the red FIP, okay, you're going to print a monthly level, for example, so not from Exo chart, but from the real chart here, you just have to go on the monthly time frame, add the two color close of a monthly, uh, on the monthly time frame, this give a monthly level. In addition to that, you have a weekly negative path control, for example, here, you have a weekly negative path control, you can get on Exo charts, for example, these are some volume levels, uh, I mean, the weekly negative path control, then you have, I don't know, maybe a, a monthly negative path control to the same place, it's really crazy to get this, but this is possible, uh, and then you have maybe in addition to this, you have a TPO here, okay, you have a TPO right here, okay, and let's take the case that you have absolutely nothing on the other targets, where are you going to look for the short trade, and where are you going to expect the short to be to be taken, or to, to I mean, where do you expect to go more like to reject from, from this target, why, because this is where you have all the confluence, again, you have all this course on the website, about the confidence you can get everything in there but with more confidence you have at the same place more chance you have to go to the confidence okay so for example 6.8 we can look for a swing for a pound for example but if we do not swing for a pound bam we look for the next target and this is the most probable target why because all the fibs have no resistance if we can say that have no confidence okay so we're going to look for a short trade and we're going to expect the price to go there and to reject from here now it can still do the it can still go for example maybe you have just a daily here just a simple daily for example so a small level but still very good 123 no conflicts here so it will be normally we shall not reject from here and to next bam one six one here we'll have a daily so only one level here we'll have a lot more very very strong but if it's broken it's broken and this again you can recognize if you have or not to take a trade okay the only thing is to trade so plan your alert wave targets and add the confidence so this and once you have done this you just have to set some alerts before the, the we hit the target okay the thing is once you hit a target you're going to trade this base based off the reaction okay from the order flow you have to go bam on the order flow here and from here, you don't have to check what's happening on behind the market. Here, you can really read what's happening behind the market. You can see what are the amount of longs, what are the amount of shorts, or where is the path control of the car, where are the people longing, where are the people shorting. Do we have any imbalances? Do we have a high positive delta? Do we have a high negative delta? Are these, long, are, are these trade closing or, or opening into the, into, into the car? Uh, what, do we have absorption? Do we have some limits close by? Do we have some... All of this data, you can read this on the chart. If you don't really don't understand what I mean, you have everything on the website again, once again. But you have all of this clearly. Okay, all of this data that can help you and that are going to help you because you're able to make, just by reading this, to make decisions if you have or not to take the trades. That is absolutely crazy, right? <laughs> just to give you an example, um, just to give you an example here, this was yesterday, for example. I just say to my team, hey, for me, this is a long trade. Why? Because I plant my waves, I plant my confluence, and I just read the order flow on the target, and from the target, this was a good long trade. It's always like this. I'm never, I mean, I'm not saying this a lot, okay? Because, uh, yeah, again, the, the long trade, I was talking about paper trade and everything, but uh, very, very important to understand that. But yeah, just say, hey, for me, this is a good long trade. And so from here, we got a 2% push to the upside, since when I'm, I say that, and personally I feel that before we go for I have to take my trade, then I'm, I'm going to, 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 to let you know. But from here, we got a 2% push to the upside on the world biggest cryptocurrency. On the world biggest cryptocurrency, a 2% push up. Do you imagine? It's absolutely crazy. Just by reading, by playing your wave up, down, sideways, by playing your targets, and from the target, you have to trade the, to just read this data here. Are the data good? Yes. You take the trade. Are the data bad? Yes. Okay, you do not take the trade. Just remain patient for better data to come or you just wait for higher, for example, if you want to look for a short, okay? So you're just going to wait for your target to be hit, and once it's hit, you're just going to make a decisions, a decision here based off the reaction you're going to get on the order flow. Yes, it's very complex to understand, but I mean, to become rich is not easy, right? So if, if that was easy, everyone will be rich. So it's really, do you want to make money in trading, yes or no? If yes, then you have to learn some good stuff, okay? It's very important because if that was easy, everyone will be rich, at least eight. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we just to say it again, you cannot use a wave alone, I mean you can, but more on a bigger time frame, not on smaller time frame, it's not possible, even on a medium time frame, you have to plan upside, downside, and sideways, you have just then to class these scenarios up, down, and sideways by probability, so is it more probable to push up, yes, okay, is it more probable to go down, no, okay, so we take the push up mainly, now even if we don't push up, that was the most probable, the probabilities did not play, we went to the downside, we're not surprised, we plan what can happen also to the downside, so we are faster to make some informed trading decisions, if we have to trade something else than what we plan, for example, to the upside, we still plan to the downside, but this was the most probable to push up for example so yeah 
Anyway, so just plant this up down inside with just class descender evaporators. Once you have done this, you just add the A wave target and add the confluence to your chart within to see where is the where is the confluence to these targets. Okay. And so once you have done this, you have to set some alerts before the target. And once it's hit, when the alarm rings, you have to check the reaction on the order flow. Is it the reaction good? Yes. Okay, I'm taking the trade because that was the plan. If this is not good, okay, I'm just remaining patient for better data to come, or I'm just remaining patient for a continuation into the next target. This is Simple as that. Again, it's very complex to understand in order for to master your wave, but it's possible. If you're working, you're learning, it's absolutely possible. You can just go and check out the, the, the website, you can just go and check out the YouTube content, you can just check out all this. You can see how powerful a wave is when you use it good. Relief is not working, it's just because you're not using that good. That's the only reason why it's not working. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, if you have some questions, as always, do not hesitate to write them down below. And as always, if you enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like, subscribe to the channel, to turn notifications. This is very, very, very important. So thank you so much if you do it. This support really a lot of the channel. And as always, if you want to get more of us, you can go on the moonshots.fr website. You will get all the information you need here. And yeah, that's all for me for today. So I really hope you enjoyed. If you also enjoy, you can also write some comments down below. That it's absolutely a pleasure as always to read you all. And this of course help with the YouTube algorithm. So really thank you so much if you do it. And uh, yeah, don't forget also to turn on notifications. We are going to get maybe some more content like this on the YouTube channel. I already started, but anyway, with some video before that. But I really hope you enjoyed these five tips and tricks on the wave. And uh, yeah, I really hope this will help you a lot. Okay. Anyway, if you want to join the Discord server, you know where to go. Description, you can click the link and join the cool Discord server, the Moonshot Discord server, where you're going to get a very, very cool community where you can talk with everyone really. Uh, you can just share your plan, talk about Elite Wave, all of this really. So feel free to go and check this out. Anyway, I wish you a brilliant day. Take care of you and see you all in the next one on YouTube, otherwise on the Discord server. Anyway, have a brilliant day, take care, and see you later. Cheers.